Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to either enable or disable the Superfetch service on your Windows computer. So in a nutshell, Superfetch is a service that is designed to help speed up apps launching or preloading when your computer turns on. So basically it'll look at your computing habits, so if you happen to open up a browser typically when you turn on your computer, it'll attempt to load some of the drives and files a little bit quicker than maybe it would otherwise if it did not know your habits. So in this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to turn this on or off. For some reasons why you might want to turn it off, it might actually increase read times of your computer, so consider on your computer a little bit, and especially if you're noticing high disk usage in regards to this, or if you're using a solid state drive or non-mechanical drive, it could also be beneficial in some cases to turn it off. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu, and you want to type in services. Best man should say services here. You just want to left click on it one time to open it up. And now I'm going to scroll down using the scroll bar on the right until I get to Superfetch. Right here, I'm going to double click on it. Now if you want to turn it on, you want to set the startup type to automatic and then server status, you want to left click on the start button. Now if you want to turn it off, I'd recommend changing the startup type to disabled and then changing the server status by left clicking on the stop button. This is basically turning it off, and then if you want to turn it on, again, you would change the startup type to automatic, and then left click on the start button right here. I would recommend restarting your computer nonetheless, just to solidify the change, make sure you, it has taken effect by restarting the computer, and that should be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.